is the bridge of promise, Charot. <laughs> the promise. <laughs> Lapit na ba tata? Lapit na madugay. Sa gilaag mo niya ati Liz guys, hindi mo sinakasa. Dari sa iyahang area of responsibility. Siya nga mo ang tour guide din sa Taipo Waterfront. Hiya na ito. So, ganun siyang mga exciting yung area yung makita na yun din, ha? So far, na-amuse man mo sa iyahang sa iyahang paraiso. <laughs> bahalag layo, bahalag ka po at least. Worth it po na mo ang gilaagan sa iyahang Palas yung lugar. So, may si Madam Juan. Juan Parks. Igsoon ranin ni Koan. Shan Park. Hindi, kataga rin si Parks. Sandara Park. So, she is the sister of Sandara Park. Joan Park. Oi, you cannot call this one. Angonsa. This one kiosk. Another one kiosk. Oh, another contem. So guys, now it's a refreshment kiosk. Taipo Waterfront Park is a park in Taipo in the new territories of Hong Kong. It is located along the Tolo Harbor and its western end is at the northern part of the mouth of the Lam Chun River. It occupies an area of 22 hectares at 54 acres and is the largest park managed by the Leisure and Cultural Services Department. The park was opened in 1994 and had a cost of $210 million but was not completed until 1997 with the creation of the Taipo Lookout Tower. Taipo Lookout Tower is a large-scale landmark established to mark the transfer of sovereignty of Hong Kong to the PRC in 1997. It is located near the mount of the Lam Chun River, the next to the shore of Tolu Harbor within Taipo Waterfront Park in Taipo, Hong Kong. 
and related to the similar name of Taipo Lookout, which is now a private residence. The Taipo Lookout Tower is a local tourist attraction. The building is 32.4 meters tall. Visitors can reach the top to enjoy a bird's eye view over Tolo Harbor, the inter-Taipo waterfront park, and the neighboring Taipo Industrial Estate. The inhabitants of the new territories defended and sacrificed themselves for their own home in the early period when Hong Kong was ceded to Great Britain in 1898. They devoted to the development of the territory and significantly made a great contribution into a society after the wartime of Hong Kong falling into Japan's hands during the period of time from December 1941 to August 1945. The inscription also points out that the location of the tower is exactly where the British government made the landing when taking over the new territories. The tower therefore was built at the same place for the commemoration of the sovereignty handover.